Hello everybody, welcome to another Transformers review. It's me, Nosey, and uh, today I am going to be talking about this awesome guy. Okay everybody, so Ripper Snapper is the review today. So I'm starting it off in this mode. Um, it comes packaged originally, as many of you will be well aware of now. It comes packaged mainly in robot mode uh, to begin with. But uh, anyway, so Ripper Snapper. This is a figure that I got at TF Nation uh, back in August of this year. Um, so really, really cool figure. Um, I I just like the whole idea of the Terracons. I mean, not everybody likes the idea of the Terracons because they are from essentially they come from the Takara uh, G1 Takara stuff, um, and uh, the Takara stuff. Even though there's a lot of appreciation for it, but there's also a lot of hatred for it as well because I can kind of see because they kind of went really weird uh, along the line. I mean, starting off with Headmasters. Um, and then the whole Terracon thing, I believe we got right at the end of the American, our normal G1, but then I think they kind of went into the Terracons a little bit more in the Japanese stuff, I believe. I apologise if I'm wrong with that. Um, but anyway, so, Ripper Snapper, very cool. On the camera, it comes over a little bit more bluer. Uh, the blue looks a little bit more of a true blue. Um, but in but in real life, it's more like a like a mixture between a, like a turquoise type thing. I don't know, but it's really cool. I really like the blue um, and the the grey. Uh, it's got little red eyes, little blots, and it's got a Decepticon logo on the top. It's got little uh, paint application to the to to the leg. Well, well, becomes the leg and obviously the torso. It's a very simple figure. Indeed, massively, um, it really is simple. Um, and then obviously, the one the other thing in this mode is obviously everything is well articulated. These are on a ball joint, these little legs, and they actually do have like a secondary joint, but that's mainly to for transformation. Um, there's no foot movement either with these little legs. Um, this at the back moves a little bit, which is his tail or his whatever. Um, and then, uh, obviously, these are his normal robot mode, robot mode arms anyway, so they have all the range of the articulation. And then the actual head bit doesn't move at all because it just is it's in a fixed position. Uh, but it does have a op open and closed mouth, so you can open that um, and close it again. But I'm going to close it because I'll be transforming him now. So... And that is that. So before we get too far into that, I just want to show you um, what it comes with accessory-wise before we get too far in. Okay, so it comes with this accessory, which uh, if you look at that, that looks a little bit like a headmaster slot. Well, essentially the power of the pram things are based on the headmaster kind of plug-in mechanism. Um, so yeah, so power of the prime. So pretty much, if you wanted to, um, I don't think he, he doesn't come with a with a power of the primes thing. He just comes with this, and then this bit comes out. So this purple bit here. Um, let me just pop it. See if I can pop it back in again. No, yeah, there we go. This purple bit here. Um, if you you can take that out, and most certainly you can pop an actual. If you've got any power of the pram things, you can pop them in there to kind of give the power, if you so to speak. Uh, this also can peg onto the chest of of um, the chest of uh, Ripper Snapper. Um, this would actually work out better if I did this in robot mode. Um, but just for storage reasons and everything, and the whole because it's a whole power of the primes thing, that's how he gets the power of the primes, as so, uh, I assume. Um, so you just pretty much plug that into the port on the front, and it looks ridiculous. Um, I'm not a big fan. I'm not a big fan of a massive like backpack thing um, on the front of Ripper Snapper. It, it looks stupid. Um, but what that is as well, as you are well aware, he is a combiner. Um, the Terracons combine to, to, to make Abominus, I believe. 
So, uh, or abominus, abominus, is it abominus, abominus, yeah. Um, so this is essentially, Ripper Snapper is the arm, one of the arm limbs. So this is also either a left or right fist. So that's also his, that connecting part. Just to qu just to clarify, I'm not going to go into the limb part yet, okay? Because I've no idea whether I'm going to be getting the rest of the Terracons at this moment in time because of my personal problems at the moment. I can't afford any Transforms at the moment or anything. So um, I only have two Power of the Prime figures that are for Abominus, which is him and Blot. So I don't see the point in doing the limb transformation at this moment in time. I may come back to it once I can afford to buy the rest of the the rest of the Terracons for Power of the Primes. I will do a another review separately and do the you know, transform the, into the limbs and then combine it together. Um, I've got to do it that way. I know it sounds a bit stupid, but it just in, in case I don't get round to buying them. Um, in the because uh, yeah things are a bit shit at the moment for me but anyway so let's transform him shall we oh by the way i forgot to mention um you would have seen them anyways but it also comes with these um which are his his weapons his guns or his laser cannons uh and in uh terracon mode or whatever you want to call it uh they plug into little like plugs on the back um, so they come over his shoulders. You can also do that in robot mode. So you can actually have them as like shoulder cannons. Or you can take them out and put them in his fist as actual normal rifle. Laser rifles. So they're pretty cool. So. Right. First of all. Let's transform him. So let's. Uh, just fold up these little. These little legs. And kind of just put them to the side like that for now. Then uh, the whole back bit you can split. Let me remember how you do it. There we go. The front bit here, they come down like this. And then the back bit you get hold of and you extend these bits and then re-close. I believe... Oh no, what am I doing? I'm doing it wrong. Bring this tail fin up, I believe, first, I think. Now, there we go. The fin just slots in. So this this whole thing, and then you think you should be able to bring... There we go. So, yeah, it all... I think that's how that's worked. Yeah, we'll do that for now. And then that whole thing you twist around. Ah, oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. It's okay, bear with me. Uh, I'm messing things up as always, but anyway, so do the same with this side Bring this up and you collapse it inwards. So it all becomes flush like so I could have done that There we go. Anyway, it's done Now I think the whole waist articulation and you just swap pre swivel the waist around so that now the whole, yeah, the whole leg thing. See that that the feet and everything and the legs are now all complete there. Now the actual arm bits, just um, let me remember how you do it. There we go. Just twist them slightly so that the elbow joint where you know the arm bends normally. So do that with this side, like 
that and twist the hand and then this pull the whole head bit down like that I think you can just you can just do that yeah I think you just rest it on the back like that swivel the head around and then there's Ripper Stepper in Robot Mud. It's a very simple but still quite clever. I mean, how the, the legs transform and fold together and clip together is actually quite clever. Um, but yeah, it's just a very straightforward transformation. It literally is just, all it does is just simply just fold up. Um, but it is quite a clever transformation. Um, what's going on here? Uh, just a moment. That leg's not plugged in. There we go. Make sure the legs are actually uh, perched in properly. <laughs> That's what I didn't do. But anyway, so yeah, very cool. So articulation on him is absolutely amazing. You've got quite a range of swivel in that in those arms, mainly because of transformation as well. You've got a nice 360 swivel of the fist there as well. So yep, yeah, pretty darn awesome. Head as a normal ball joint, 360 swivel. And by the way, just while we're here, that head sculpt is amazing. Absolutely love that head sculpt. Um, like I said, you've got 360 swivel of the, of the waist, mainly for transformation purposes. Then the legs, you've got a nice range of swivel joint and knee joint. And that is about it for the legs and everything. But uh, yeah, he has a lot of good possibility. The possibility factor on this guy is pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. I do like him. He is a brilliant figure. And like I said, you can pop these cannon things into his hands. I say that. There we go. And now he's got his twin cannons in his arms. But like I said, you've got these two big gaping holes on the sides. Um, so if you wanted, you can take them out of there, pop them back in there. Like that. And you can just have them peeking over his shoulders. Um, so you can actually have them as like shoulder cannons um, as well. Or you can have them just come protrude out the sides. But plus it also kind of adds us like a bit of um, a bit of uh, storage for his weapons. And like I said, the bit that I don't quite like with this, but this is what happens with all of them. He has that stupid back. Thing there that plugs into his ch chest there as well but uh, like I said it just keeps it all together so in a way it's quite clever because everything is together so if you plug everything together you're not going to lose anything but personally for display factor I'm not putting that on um, but anyway so yeah beautiful figure I really do enjoy it it's got you know the the pros of this figure is it just looks absolutely amazing. They cut the the paint scheme, the color scheme, everything works on it, um, and I think it's quite an intuitive, quite clever little transformation. Mainly when it comes to the legs, um, the legs trans the leg transformation is actually quite clever. Everything else is just straightforward. Um, I really love these ideas. It's it's, it's an awesome. Uh, 
new representation of the Terracons since like Generation One, um, and I think they've done a good job personally. Um, any cons of it? To be honest, I can't think of any cons at the moment for this toy. Um, I think well, actually no. The con is that that is that I don't like that. Pretty much plugged into the chest. Um, you don't have to, but I'm just saying I don't like the idea of that design aspect. It looks a bit damn stupid. But anyway, but anyway. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, it's been my review on Ripper Snapper Power of the Primes. I'll be back very soon with more reviews. Also, by the way, please go and support Tatimus Prime. Uh, and uh, as he's literally just come back, he's trying to get the old ba band back together. Um, so yeah, check the description below to for for a link to his channel. Uh, but anyway, so thank you for watching. Peace. See you soon.